What's with the cat ears? Well, I think we have a recipe that is perfect for summer. Well, it has been a while since we've made a recipe video, and today we're gonna make lemon piccata. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So like we said, it's been a while since we've made a recipe. And today we're going to make a super easy, super delicious entree. Wait a second, how easy is this recipe? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Wow, we're actually back in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen. And like I said, we're gonna make lemon piccata. So let's get right into this with everything that we need. Okay. It's gonna sound like we need a lot of ingredients, but it's really not that much. So if you don't know what lemon piccata is, it's basically a very lightly breaded chicken breast usually, which is what we're gonna use today because we're trying to eat a little bit higher protein, but you can use chicken thighs and then it's gonna be in a lemon sauce. It's usually the entree I always select at a wedding. <laughs> okay, so you ready? First thing we're gonna need, you can put them off to the side and I give them to you, almond flour. Now for the coating, we're not gonna just use almond flour, but we're gonna use a combination of pork rind crumbs. Porking good. We're using, you can use any flavor, but we're gonna use the Italian style. Feels like it fits. Then we're gonna use some Pecorino Romano cheese. Pecorino. You can use Parmesan cheese, anything you want. You don't even have to have the cheese, but it is gonna give it that little bit of more of a crispiness when you cook it. Always cheese. Then we need some bone broth, or you can actually just use plain chicken broth. We happen to have bone broth, so that's what we're gonna use. Kettle and fire. Butter or ghee, either one you wanna use, completely up to you. Ghee, it's ghee. Yeah. Lemon juice. Obviously, since it's lemon. Some avocado oil. Capers, can't have lemon piccata without some capers. I still don't fully understand that. What is it really? <laughs> Finally, we need some chicken breast. Now I have four chicken breasts here, but really this recipe is gonna make two, possibly three. If you have four, just add up the breading a little bit more so that you can coat more chicken breasts with it, right. obviously. So let's push all that stuff to the side. I'll grab the uh, pan and the hot plate and we'll get started. Okay, we have our cast iron pan here. We're going to get this thing hot while we work on the chicken breast. So I'm just gonna put it like on medium and because it's cast iron and we don't want it to, you know, ruin the pan, we're just gonna add our butter and our avocado oil in here. I've got a tablespoon of each one. Recipe for this entire video will be linked down below. Now we have a bowl, and in the bowl, here's what we got. Three tablespoons of almond flour. Yum. Three tablespoons of your breadcrumbs. And two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Oop, I see a little extra in here. Oop. And then all you're gonna do is go ahead and mix this around really well. Just get it all combined well. Now what we're gonna do is we have a plate. You can go ahead and put some in the bottom of a plate. What I like to do is have the bottom of your plate covered. Okay. I like using a paper plate for this. So take one of your chicken breasts. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pound this to make it thin, as thin as you want. Looks don't like go too thin, but already. don't go too thick. I've already made them thin. So take one of them, put it on your mixture there. No egg. No egg. And then just gonna go ahead and cover it. You're not, you're not looking for a heavy, heavy coat, just a little bit of a coat. Okay, now that you got that one done, and again, not a heavy coat. Put that off to there. Then you can kind of take this like this, making a mess. Always. Put a little bit more on there. Now the key to this is you should only be using one hand to work with the breadcrumbs so that 
like one hand's clean, one hand's dirty. Oh Lord, well you're my other hand. You're my clean hand. And let's go ahead and put the rest in there. Cause we're just doing two. We're just doing two. So you're using enough breadcrumbs here for two full chicken breasts. Again, if you want more, you just double up the recipe. Now we are gonna save whatever breadcrumbs are left there. And then you're gonna put those in here and cook them three to four minutes on each side until they're no longer pink in the middle. Okay, now the chicken's cooked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it on some aluminum foil and just kind of wrap it to keep it warm. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna add in some garlic. We got, I forgot to mention that before, we got two cloves of garlic minced up. Mm. And we're gonna let that just kind of cook down just a little bit. Pan drippings are the best. Now to that, we're gonna go three quarters of a cup of uh, chicken broth. Look at how golden that is. And then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of lemon juice. Bring that up to a boil, let it thicken up a little bit. Now you do wanna stir it up every once in a while. The whole idea is here, we're just trying to thicken up the sauce just a little bit. I wish we had Smell-O-Vision right now because it smells so stinking good. <laughs> Lemon and garlic. Now you can thicken this up a little bit by taking, if you have any leftover of the breadcrumb mixture and kind of putting it in there. It's up to you. Do you want to use it all? Yes. Do you not want to use it all? I mean, you are adding, you know, a couple of extra carbs in there, but you're not going to use all of the sauce anyway. The garbage can is not getting all of this delicious goodness. Okay, now at the very end there, now that it's thicked up, we're just going to add in about a tablespoon of capers. Because you're supposed to. Now we're just going to take our spoon here. Thanks for doing this for us so I don't get burnt. <laughs> just spoon some of your sauce. My sauce. Over the top. Look at that. That looks good, but I still don't understand how you ended up with the bigger piece. That bigger piece was in front of me. I would be really good at that, like, what is it, the clamshell game? You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hello. Nobody even had to get married. It's as good as a wedding. Now this one is higher protein. You can use chicken thighs. Again, recipe is linked down below. Well, that is going to be today's video. So if you like other videos like this and want to see some more of our cooking videos, check out our playlist right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can do by finding right over there. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, subscribe going right down here. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.